Hello everyone, welcome to the Adorian region. I'm your host, Adorian himself, and we are back with Detective Grimoire. I actually think we're relatively close to finishing the game. Because outside of the challenges, we really don't have a lot left, so... Uh, that's, that's all I can think of, at least. So, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, of course, in the description is a playlist of this entire challenge. Entire challenge? Entire playthrough! And while you're down there, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those fun things to do when you're supporting a YouTube channel, because it, you know, helps me, and I would really appreciate it if you could do so. Um, with that said, let's challenge you, uh, to a duel, I suppose. I draw. Pot agreed, let's go. I huh? heard you've been spending less time protesting recently, and more time, uh, in your tent. Mm -hmm. Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask- I'm touched people have even noticed something like that. I usually get the impression everyone else is doing their best to ignore me. So, you admit it's true? You can put your notebook away. There isn't really any reason for it. Nothing worth writing down, at least. Well, if it's not worth writing uh, down, yeah. maybe it's worth hearing. In Talk that to case, me. you'd forget it. How do you know? Maybe it would echo in my mind. Uh. <laughs> Look, if you take a guess and get it right, I promise not to deny it. Let's work out why Echo was hidden away in his tent. Interesting. No time. I have a <laughs> I have a silly nickname. Um, why would he be? Because it's raining. Because he's scared of goats. Ghosts. Because the tax man is coming. Or because I'm scared of Boggy. Maybe this one? I don't actually know. Um, let's see. So, there's a bunch of different, there's four different options, okay. Uh. So let's see, um, I think, might it be this? I don't know, because, okay, so, the, the rain one definitely isn't it, so I don't think it's actually been raining. Um, let's see, again, and the, the ghost one again doesn't make any sense based off of what's going on. Tax one. I guess it's Boggy. That's the that's the only thing I can think of. Is that it's the reason is because it's Boggy, being all like, uh, you know, terrified of the bogginess. I guess is the best way to say it. Let's try that. You've been in your tent, hiding from Boggy. <laughs> Why not? I don't understand. Is that it? Wait. I heard you've been spending and more time. No, Wait I, a minute. I, I'm confused. <laughs> okay. It's raining. Let me, let me see if this is. You've been in your tent because it's been raining. <laughs> I, I'm confused. Is are, is he gonna say that regardless? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try all of them. in your tent because the swamp is haunted. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so either it's because of taxes or because and he's not telling I, us anything. Okay, ra da 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 da. Notebook time. Okay, great. Taxes. You've been hiding in your tent from the tax man. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so he's not telling us diddly squat. Um. All right, great. Uh, so he didn't give us much of anything on that one. So next up, let's go to the cafe and Ooh. my friend. I have a challenge for you. I was told Remington left the cafe looking ill last night. 
Right. Since you seem to be completely in charge of all the food and drink around here, I'm afraid this is something I can't ignore. We gotta talk, he my friend. He was an old man. His health wasn't perfect. But I'm not arguing with you. I think it is suspicious. What do you think caused it? What do I think caused it? So, I remember this very well. There was... Close and catch up. That... Yeah. It's not the mustard, either. That's not... Is this... Was it... I have no idea. Chili, I guess? That's not it. Probably the, the skull and crossbone thing. A bomb donkey ate at the cafe gave him food poisoning. Yeah. I keep all my food locked in the storeroom when I'm not here. You think he was poisoned? I think he was poisoned. Yep. Poisoned by me? Um... Actually, now that I think about it, it would make sense for it to be broken in with the lockpick we found very early on. Right? The storeroom was broken into with a lockpick. A lockpick? I've never encountered a problem like this before, but since last night am I in a position to doubt a claim like that? Yeah. Somebody knew that Remington would eat a bomb dog. He ate one every day, right? Do you suppose this explains the missing bottles of swamp juice as well? Interesting. Okay. That seems like that's the end of that one. Um, so next we go to the clearing and we talk to the director. I know we've done one challenge. I think it was Burl's, so we can skip that I one. But... heard this isn't the first time you've tried to film here. Where? Yes, I do remember this. In the, in the swamp? What yes. are you talking about? Ooh. Um... Oh, I don't remember this. Oh gosh, um... I think Remington- I don't- I think Remington rejected him. Right? Remington has yes, okay, you good. Filming permission in the okay, past. good. Oh, that. Nothing but the natural process of being in a profession like Okay. Mine. Every situation simply requires the right approach before the gears start turning smoothly. You understand, okay. I'm sure. Um, Remy Rim did not want you filming here. And right. why did he change his mind? It wasn't even up to him. This area is protected, you know. There are certain rules, certain regulations. I encounter this kind of thing all the time, really. That doesn't explain why he changes too. That's true. It's a little suspicious. Why would you say that? A famous movie director suddenly gets his way. Mm-hmm. I wonder how that happened. Time to use my notebook. Just drag an item onto the paper to draw the idea. So... Flowers? That can't be it. Uh, an autograph. That can't be it. He chopped him to pieces with a sword. That can't be it. Okay. The money. Yeah, this is what I figured. Right. That's the one. Here we go. I think you bribed Remington to get the filming lights. Well, bribe is a strong word. But you're not it rejecting just it. just a little arrangement between friends. Nothing worth getting upset about. I simply promised him a cut of my next movie's profits. It made sense, since he owned the area anyway. Just a favor for a favor. So you would have owed him mm -hmm. money. Only a small percentage, simply out of courtesy. And not for a long time, either. Okay. I'm not really getting much of anything from him. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I've done your challenge as well. So let us go to the treehouse lady. Hello. I want to <coughs> challenge you. This I just realized her hair is a leaf. I don't know why that took me so long to realize that, but it's amazing. Okay. I've been looking into the history of this place. Oh, really? Did you find anything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You. You uh... must be confused. You found me today when you barged into my house. Remember? No, no. I, I distinctly remember... Well, actually, I don't distinctly remember. It's been forever, but I do vaguely remember... 
that you've been here for a very long time. I don't, you're not the founder of the attraction. And you created this myth of the swamp creature, I don't think that's right. You were here 60 years ago, weren't you? You were already living in the swamp when the explorer came here 60 years ago. Exactly. The explorer? That man they talk about in the museum? The yep. one who originally discovered Boggy. You know who I'm talking about. His sketches and notes are the only real evidence we have for this creature. You already have his journal. You learned to read, I assume? Yes, I have. Um... Ooh, is there... There is a page. Yeah, I forgot about that. The page is missing There's from the journal. There's a page missing from the journal. I think you know where it is. Why on earth would I know something like that? Because you were the only person here when the explorer visited the swamp. I have a suspicion that the swamp creature wasn't the only thing he discovered. Mm -hmm. You're suggesting he gave me a page from the back of his journal. Or what? That I stole it? Uh, I don't think you stole it, and you definitely haven't left the place that's been adamant, so... Let's try that. I really have no idea. If I could see it, I might be able to make up my mind. It doesn't belong in the museum. It belongs here, with me. Why is that? You understand? What if I promise I'll return it, after I finish clearing up this mess? Mm -hmm. Then... I'll show it to you. Is this you? He drew you into his journal? It's beautiful. 60 years ago, yes. He left the page with me. We agreed the rest of the world would manage without it. I think there's something on the back. Well, that means we should probably flip it. Um... What's this? Oh. Interesting. Footprints. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So the lost page ripped out of the Explorer's Journal, given to Weybridge by the Explorer 60 years ago, features a drawing of Lady Weybridge at 20 years old, also features drawing of Baki's feet and footprint. He has two toes at the front and one at the back. And this page proves that the footprints found outside the office were not made by the real Boggy. Oh, snap. That's crucial. Okay. 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 First of all, we have 100% of the game. Um, we have 100% of this. Like, the clues, we have all that. The only thing we haven't done is 100% the characters. Which actually means I don't have to show everyone everything, which I guess makes sense. This is supposed to be hidden. Um... So what I'm going to do, let's let's do your challenge because we might as well. Folder, let's go over there. Hey. So challenge. I have a bone to pick with you. So you setting yourself up for a joke? Something about a lockpick? Maybe. Who knows? Stop distracting me. I'm trying to interrogate you. My apologies, go ahead. So what are we showing Folder now? That's a good point. What are we showing you? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of stuff here. Um. Okay, so what? Oh, Del, we're showing the lockpick. Why am I so dumb? Yeah, here, lockpick. Where did I find this again? Um, found this outside the office. I found a lockpick at the scene of the crime. Well, apparently you did. Why does this concern me? Um, this one, right? I believe... Yeah, you've admitted to owning a lockpick. Yeah, yeah, he, he said this you earlier. You already admitted to owning one of these, and how you're ever so happy to come and go as you please with it, am I right? Be honest. Luckily for me, Detective, I was honest with you. I believe I have already explained that second lockpick before you even found it. You lost it, didn't you? You lost your lockpick in the swamp and had to buy a new one. That's right. I appreciate you finding it for me. However, I won't ask for it back. Apparently it has since become some diabolical instrument in the art of murder. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of important. Of evidence. Challenge complete. Okay. Uh, I just got an achievement slickest, slickest of sleuths. I think it's time I went to talk to Officer James. Oh, okay. Chapter 4, the beginning of the end. Um, 
we're gonna leave the episode here i don't actually know how long the next episode will be so cliffhanger haha take uh take that guys um thank you very much for watching and supporting the adoran region in any way shape or form that you do next time the end until then take care It's time to find out who did the crime.